Now we're up to D8. D8 is an applique block. So we have a four and a half inch square background. And then there's eight pieces. We've got four footballs and four diamond shapes. The assembly of this, I'm gonna mark my square. I have a black fabric and I'm gonna mark the X for the diamonds, but I'm also have to mark the quadrant lines, so like a plus sign for the footballs and the footballs, because these are the ones that are centered in the actual point, they have to go on first. So that once they have to go on first and they have to be completely appliqued down before you can put your diamonds on because you need to know what the spacing is here. And if you don't have it appliqued, you won't be able to have an accurate edge showing so that you can put this where you need to be. So my basting on my pieces, my diamonds, I'm gonna do the small sides and then the long sides most likely is how I usually do it. And then I'll do them all in the same direction. It's not the end of the world if you don't, um, just you're gonna end up tucking the tags underneath when you applique it. My uh, applique for my footballs, I do a gathering stitch around the edge and then I pull it tight and come back and pull and, and stitch it down on the one side and then I do that same thing on the other because you need to make sure that you get a nice curve and a nice tight pull so that you get the accurate piece shape on here. So I'm gonna get my pieces all basted and my square, I'm gonna baste this and mark it and then we can move on to the next step. So I've got my pieces all basted and I've marked my square with the X and the plus sign so that I can place my pieces properly. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my footballs and center them on the center point and then along the line to the edge and I'm gonna staple them down and then uh, applique them on before placing these because I wanna make sure that these are all tight and applique underneath into place before I try to place these because of the spacing here. So let me get to placing these footballs. So I've applique on my footballs and no matter how hard I try, I can't get an accurate point in the middle here and I can't get them to touch. So to compensate for this, I'm going to, I, I have my thread here on, on the uh, point of one of them and I'm gonna come across and pick up a section of the point. I can't remember how I do this. Oh, it's this one, okay. So I'm on this one. And then I'm gonna go here, just across the edge of the point. The concept is that I'm gonna pull them together. That's the concept. That doesn't mean that's gonna happen. But people ask me how I, try, how I get my points accurate, and I'm like, well, I don't. I just try to fudge it. And so I'm gonna push this together because you want it to be as close as possible. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna do this a few times. And this is really strong thread, so I can really pull on it to a point. Okay, so the idea is that they touch. And even if my paper, my background paper is not flat, my background paper is not staying there. So then I'm going to go to the next point. Where is this? Okay, so that's right there. Then I'm going to go over here. Maybe. And I'm going to come around this way. So this kind of helps correct it to, you know it's not going to fix it for it's not going to fix it perfectly but it it will improve the situation and then once i take my basting out and all that it should be a little bit more pliable 
So that's an improvement, but I am pulling on the fabric quite hard. Let's do another one here. Because this one is very, this one's off from the center a little bit, so it needs a little bit more help. And then the trick is to go under and not pull your point and make your point distorted, which I think I did I'm on this one right here, but we'll see about that later. Okay, so that's an improvement. I'm gonna just, I think I'm just gonna leave it, but maybe I'll just do this. Cause the gap here is, is a, bit, a bit much. So you just kind of work your way around, even if you go through it 20 times. I can't find my needle. And then you just, you know, pull them together as you need to. So what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna tie off my thread take out my staples and my basting, and then we can position the next set. So I've taken out my basting and my staples. Next thing to do is to place these diamond kite looking pieces. And I need to play, I need to look at this point and this point on the line that I have. So if I stick it on the line here, it's going to look like it's not spaced right because this tag's in the way. But if you have confidence in your lines, then you can. And so I'm going to place it like the same kind of distance here, whatever that is, quarter inch-ish. And then I'm going to eyeball it all the way around so that I can keep it even in theory. But I can always take the staples out and redo it if it's not the way it needs to be. So that needs a little bit more there. Okay, and then point, oops, tags get in the way. So I'm going to... Um, do the other two and then we can work on applique. So I've got all four of my diamonds stapled on. I did measure this corner just to verify it a bit. So now I'm gonna go around and applique these down. So I finished appliqueing on my kite diamond pieces and I've removed my staples and now my D8 block has been completed.